Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Today we are going to see about design of Cebic Converter with PID Controller. A Cebic Converter nothing but a single ended primary inductor converter. So it can be operated uh, that mean we can operate that Cebic Converter smaller than input voltage or less than input voltage. That mean it can operate uh, both step down and step up mode. So first you have to see about the, the design equation. That been calculation for uh, inductor and capacitor for that subic converter. So the, in this in this program we can calculate that uh, subic converter inductor and capacitor. Here you can see that we are designing the subic converter for a uh, nearly two thousand two watts. That means two point two point zero zero two kilowatt. And then input voltage here we are consider as 123.6 volt and then uh, the switching frequency here we are consider is uh, 10 kilohertz and then output voltage here we are consider as 48 and then this is for a calculation of uh, cycle and then this is a calculation of uh, calculating the input current maximum and then this is for output current maximum so this is load resistance calculation so these are the and the, that means settings for a ripple inductor current and a ripple capacitor voltage in the input and the output side and then these are the equation used for calculating l1 l2 and c1 c2 so while executing this program so you will get the value for l1 l2 C1 and C2. So this value can be used for uh, creating that summoning model of Cebic converter. So here I'm going to create that one. So for that we need DC voltage source. So I'm going to type DC voltage source. The value is 123.6. And then we need inductor. So type series RLC branch and change the type to L so this is nothing but L1 and then we need IGPT so next you have to type IGPT diode so you can choose this one and then connect this And then we need capacitor so copy then take change the type of the element to C and then we need inductor so put it that and then connect like this and then we need diode right so we can use diode type diode and then take this one and connect this and then again we need capacitor to copy and take it that paste that capacitor and then we need a load right so here you can change type to R and connect connect this one and connect crown point right and then I am going to measure the current so type current measurement and use this one and connect like this and then I am going to measure the voltage of the load so I am going to type voltage measurement I am going to connect this one next I am going to use summing block so here we are going to use a closed loop control by means of PAD so I'm going to use summing block and then uh, actual voltage will be measured and uh, given to the summing block. So here you need to change the sign minus plus and then I'm going to use constant so to provide the reference. So reference here I'm going to provide 48 because we designed for the 48 volt uh, so we convert in the output end. And then I am going to use PID controller. 
will be connected like this and then I am going to use PWM uh, DC generator and then I am going to connect like this and then I am going to connect output of PWM generator to IGP. So next I am going to measure the voltage current power of the load side. So I am going to use the input uh, scope and then I am going to change the layout to three layouts. And first one used to for measuring the voltage and second one used to for current and third one used to for measuring the load power. And then we need to use power GI. So next you have to change the value for L1, L2 and C1, C2. So here I am going to measure L1. So just to copy the L1 and paste it here. And then L2. And paste it here. And then C1 and then C2 and then the load resistance all okay so now I'm going to check the results right okay. Here I am uh, editing to any tuning the PVD. Just I am going to check the results of the load side. So here you can see that we are not get exact result. That means we, we need to get 48 volt in the load voltage side, load voltage because here we are not uh, tuning any parameter of the PVD controller. So I am going to click this one PVD. So here I am going to choose PA controller and then apply and click tune. After that, you can see the uh, PD tuner app. So, in that, you can select identify any plant and then click simulate data. So, here I am going to fix offset equal to 0.1 and amplitude equal to 0 0.3, and then I am going to simulate the model. And here you can check the result. That means this PVD tuner app will be simulate the model for two times. After that, uh, it going to collect the identification data. So identification data nothing but uh, the error data. So input for the PVD controller going to be act as identification data. So based upon that data, we are going to identify the the simulating model in the form of transfer function. So after identification, after the identification of that model in the form of transfer function, so you have to tune the PVD controller for a particular transfer function. So we, we will wait for that uh, completion of two simulation. After that you can see here, right? So here you can see that uh, the identification data. So now you can see that this identification data we have got from that uh, simulation. So just you got to click apply and close. So and then you can click auto estimate. It's automatically estimate the transfer function detail. So here you can see the transfer function value of K and T1. So here you can see there is a transfer function of that uh, identified plant. Okay. So next I'm going to click apply. So next I am going to use PVD tuner. So I am going to tune the model. So here I am going to apply, update the model.
after tuning right we are getting that uh, so over damped response right and then check the result so here we have more oscillation right so the voltage output voltage is oscillate around uh, 40 yeah, 44 to 52 volt right so this is because of that uh, setting that mean uh, here we consider point 0.1 right so point 0.1 means 48 into point 0.1 so the voltage will be oscillate around uh, 4.8 that means plus or minus 4.8 so let I am going to choose this uh, value to 0 0.01 percentage right so 0 0.01 and then I am going to execute the model so here you can see that so this um, value will get that from that uh, particular settings right so I am going to change this to I am changing the value of L1 L2 C1 and C2 and then I am going to check the response so now we can, we can see that, that uh, the ripple is uh, reduced because so initially we set that ripple percentage is equal to 0 0.1 so then uh, the 48 into 0 0.1 means so the oscillation that means the ripple we are getting plus or minus 4.8 so that means 48 plus 4.8 which is equal to 52 48 minus 4.2 which is equal to 43.8 so the output voltage right so this uh, output voltage will be oscillate around uh, 52 to 43.8 volt right so when you reduce that uh, the ripple factor right you can reduce that voltage now you can see that you will get uh, the less ripple voltage and then so it going to oscillate around 48.5 to 47.5 so that mean uh, almost uh, plus or minus 0.5 volt okay and also it set at around 48 volt so here you can see that we are getting around uh, 2000 watts and uh, here you can see that we are getting current around uh, 42 amps so now i am going to check the same model with the step change in reference so here i am going to use step input so initial value i am going to make 48 the final value i am going to make 24 and then it's going to change at step time step time i'm going to make it 5 so after 5 seconds the reference command change from 48 to 24 volt so we will check the result of this change in reference command so here you can see that because of change in reference command the actual load voltage also change and then it maintained at around 24 volt okay so for change in reference command also the system work fine with the uh, PA controller so this is a working of uh, civic converter with the PAD controller thanks for watching our videos kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell, bell icon for notification about upcoming videos thank you thank you so much bye bye